This is Bumal, a very typical village in the Punjab. Every evening, the young men of the village play Kabaddi, a wrestling game that is very popular in this area. It is a good way to relax after a day of hard work at the farm. Majender Singh has just completed his daily routine. He is one of the many dairy farmers in Punjab, also known as the milk state of India. No wonder, because the Punjab has the highest milk production per capita in India. Every day, almost 900 milliliter of milk is produced per person. This is almost four times the Indian average. My name is Jinder Singh. I do agriculture. I do study and games and extra activities. I do agriculture and farming. farming am daddy. I do a lot of Majender belongs to a wealthy farmer family. His father is an influential politician in the local communist party. They can afford to have Ram as a full-time farm worker. He feeds, washes and milks the cattle twice a day. Punjabis prefer beeflo milk to cow milk. It is said to be tastier because it has more fat and buffaloes are well adapted to local climate conditions. This is quite important as temperatures can go easily up to as much as 40 degrees Celsius in summer. In fact, India has the highest population of buffaloes in the world. Even the famous Italian water buffaloes, whose milk is used for the mozzarella cheese, originate from India. On the other hand, crossbred cows give more milk, on average almost double the amount that buffaloes give. That is the major reason why farmers start to have more crossbred cows as they go into commercial milk production. It is now high summer. This is why the milk production is extremely low. Cows give less milk as they sweat out a lot of water. Another reason is that many cows give birth after the summer, which means that they are now at the end of their production cycle. To refresh the cattle, Ram gives them a daily bath. Especially the crossbred cows need to be cooled down in order to stay healthy. Even if Punjab produces a lot of milk, for most farmers here dairy farming is only a side activity. Their priority is crop farming. In a way, crop farming and dairy farming are very complementary. Cattle are fed mostly on dry wheat and rye straw and their manure is used as fertilizer in the fields. In the past, cattle also had a very important role as a draft animal in the field. But nowadays, more and more tractors are appearing in the Punjab. As dry fodder is difficult to digest, it is usually mixed with some fresh green grass to make it more appealing to the animals. Poor feeding habits are another reason why milk production per cow is far below Western averages. Instead of a well-balanced diet, cows get whatever is available on the field. Landless farmers who work at another farmer's field often rely on dry straw that they get as a gift or on grasses picked up from the riverside. Magenda's family does not need to bother about grass or straw. They even have a diesel-driven forage cutter. 
Electric power for farms is subsidized by the government and is highly used in summer for irrigation. This is why power cuts are a major constraint in rural areas and people rather rely on diesel power. Traditionally, farmers keep cows and buffaloes for their own daily cup of fresh milk. Only what is left over is sold to a milk buyer in the village. In the past, this was considered as a sin. Selling milk was like selling your own son. One of the reasons is that milk is very high in important nutrients and vitamins. Even in tough times of food shortages, children could survive on milk alone. But now that the Punjab has become the granary of India and food shortages are less frequent, people have started to consider milk sales as a welcome non-seasonal complement to their crop income. Most cows and buffaloes in the Punjab are milked by hand. Milking machines are only used at fully commercial farms, with farmers who have at least 20 cows. The disadvantage of milking by hand is that it results in lower yields and a higher incidence of infections of the other. To produce clean milk, clean water should be used when washing the other and contact between washing water and the fresh milk should be avoided. ਪਹਿਲਾਂ 5:30 ਵਜੇ ਡੇਰੀ ਤੇ ਆਉਣੇ ਆ ਦੁੱਧ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਵਾਰਮ ਅਪ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਵਾਰਮ ਅਪ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਗੇਮ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨੈਸਟਲੇ ਕੋਲੈਕਟਸ ਮਿਲਕ ਫਰਮ ਮੋਰ ਥੈਨ 1000 ਵਿਲੇਜਸ ਦੇ ਵਰਕ ਥਰੂ ਅ ਨੈਟਵਰਕ ਆਫ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਏਜੈਂਟਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਵਿਲੇਜਸ ਐਂਡ ਓਪਨ ਥੇਅਰ ਸ਼ੌਪ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਈਵਨਿੰਗਸ Through this network, Nestle can easily monitor the quality of its milk supply and trace back abnormalities to the source. Many domestic milk plants in India work through contractors, intermediate traders who buy milk from farmers and sell it to the factories. <laughs> 